So let's talk about the importance of exfoliation. When I talk to women or ladies that I've known or I've grown up with or that I have met through Facebook or through my mother, an, a, a very common question is, okay, so, I mean, there's the basic cleansing and then, of course, the, the cream and moisturizing, but is there anything else that we need to add into a routine? And the number one product that I always say, you need the microdermabrasion. It's, it's as simple as that. I really can't stress to you the importance of consistent exfoliation. I was in a routine for years that I would exfoliate maybe once or twice a week because I had the mindset of thinking that that was going to be enough. And it wasn't until in this past year that I understood the importance of exfoliation every day. And I can't even stress to you enough of how much that made a huge impact on my skin personally. Coming from someone that has dealt with acne, I dealt with acne in my late teens into my early 20s, specifically my college years. It got to a point where I was in third degree. I guess that's the best term I can say, third degree, where I was on the verge of potential scarring. We're talk talking that deep cystic acne had it through my jawline, the chin area, which is very common, a little bit up on my forehead and for a couple years I suffered with um, with acne um, it took a lot of um, patience it took a lot of personal knowledge and it took a lot of changes in my personal habits both internally and how I treat my my skin externally in order to get that under control Especially during the time where I was pregnant with camp, I had a very good time. My skin, for the most part, behaved with acne. Dealing with that hormonal acne before, I understood what I could do to help manipulate that and keep that under control. One was microdermabrasion. After having camp, I went through a small period of time where it, my skin was adjusting, which is completely normal with hormones. And about a year ago, I said I need to be doing a consistent exfoliation of my skin to keep the cell turnover going, okay? So your skin is flaking off dead skin cells every day. Don't matter what you do, no matter how much you moisturize. So keeping a consistent clean sloughing off of that top layer was helping to unclog those pores. So I started using this on a daily basis. I keep this in my shower. I go through this I'm going to say I go through a jar about once every two months. I'm going, to, I'm going to round it up, but close to two months, and that's using that every day. I'm in the shower. I'm using it because you want to use it on damp, cleansed skin. So I'm in the shower. I cleanse my skin with the cleanser. I take about a dime-sized dollop worth of the microdermabrasion, and I'm exfoliating my skin while it's damp. You don't want to use this dry because it can be a little bit, I'm not going to say irritating, but it's a little bit harder to maneuver because this is not like a scrub that you've probably used. You're probably used to sugar scrubs or salt scrubs or a combination of the two, or you may have gone to the, gro uh, to the grocery store, the drugstore, and picked up a very popular um, scrub that has been used for years that's basically chunks of stuff. This is perfectly rounded corundum. What is corundum? Uh, basically what rubies and sapphires are made of. Perfectly rounded so you're using it in a, a circular motion. So you're using these tiny itty bitty bitty beads to exfoliate the skin evenly. Instead of having it just slough across your skin hoping you're getting it all. This, it's very, um, it feels a lot like sand in a weird way but it's not sand scratchy irritating way um, that's how fine it is so you are consistently working it I use it every day since I have been using it every day for the past year I have seen incredible results when I recommend to people uh, about using this I say start off maybe two or three times a week and see how that goes and then build yourself up to every day the best way I can term this, and it, if you think about it, when you're exfoliating your skin and if you're not doing it daily, it's about the equivalent of only working out one day a week and expecting incredible results. 
I mean, let's not talk about my workout routine because baby girl needs to get back into it. But what I'm saying is it's that mindset of I can't expect my skin to reap true benefits unless I'm doing it on a consistent, even basis where my skin is almost sort of expecting I'm getting exfoliated every day. My pores have never been cleaner. You're still going to see your pores. And don't be deceived by the the term of um, of your, your pores becoming smaller. That's why people say, or products say, it helps to reduce the appearance of pores. Because you can't get rid of your pores. That's how you breathe, people. <laughs> but you want to keep them cleaned out. My chin has never been smoother. I don't have clogged pores on my chin. Right through here, especially the, the most troubled area is the nose and the upper cheek area for blackheads and through right through here. I can tell that my expression lines get softer. They've been um, blurred in a way because I'm consistently exfoliating. You can't get rid of expression lines unless you're gonna to go to another level of, uh, of skincare but you're not going to get rid of fine lines and to be honest let's not get rid of fine line or fine lines and expression lines i mean that's tells the story of your life really in a way so if there's one product you get a two ounce jar for forty dollars this has jojoba oil in it also as some people pronounce it jojoba but it's jojoba um it's got the corundum in it You've got a lot of great ingredients that are good for your skin, paraben-free, phthalate-free. Uh, of course, there's no sulfates in it. I can't recommend this enough. If you've not tried anything, if you've got another routine or another brain that you're working through, and you're like, okay, if I don't have something like that, microdermabrasion, microdermabrasion, microdermabrasion. I love it. I swear by it. I hope you guys like this video. We're going to be doing some, a little bit more videos. Um, as you can see, this is a very fancy setup here in our studio. But I just thought that talking one-on-one, -on -one, I mean, this is real life. My little boy and my husband are watching Mickey Mouse right now. So I thought I'd pop in here for a brief second and talk to you a little bit about microdermabrasion. You guys are wanting more information regarding our skincare. So we're going to be working in the process of getting more information to you either via uh, post or maybe videos. We're just trying to figure out how we all do that. <laughs> So, I hope this video finds you well. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. You can, of course, um, email us at dkmskincare at gmail.com. Our website, dkmskincare.squarespace.com. And, of course, y'all, you can always private message us. Hope you guys have a great afternoon. Bye!